Desde Jerusalén, con Our correspondent, Luis Carballo, is in Jerusalem. Luis, Luis, the initial Luis, reaction in Israel towards the figure of Ariel Sharon is unanimously positive. positive. What's the atmosphere What's ahead of the funeral? We can feel tighter security. All the roads around the Neset are blocked. There's a heavier police presence, more traffic jams than usual. We're seeing more people on the streets heading to the parliament to pay tribute to Ariel Sharon. But I'd say there's not the same overwhelmingly emotional feeling as we saw following the death of Rabin two years after the Oslo Agreement. In Sharon's case, the conditions are different. He was in a coma for eight years and now people have started to talk about him again. He returned to the media spotlight on January 1st when his health worsened. And his profile is also different. Sharon was not a man of consensus. He was controversial with many ups and downs during his military and political career. But since the decline of his health and his subsequent death, many of his former critics have fallen silent. Is anybody going to pick up Ariel Sharon's political legacy? Does any other politician or party share his vision of Israel and the Middle East? We talked with Ranan Gissin, who was his spokesperson and advisor for more than 15 years. He told us that in his opinion, and he knew Sharon very well, there's nobody with the same courage as Sharon, no one who will dare do what he did. We have to remember his historic speech in 1998 when he urged settlers in the West Bank to run and grab as many hilltops as they could to enlarge settlements because, quote, everything we take now will stay ours. It's therefore paradoxical that in 2005, four years after he became prime minister, the same man ordered the withdrawal of settlers from the 21 settlements in Gaza. People considered this a betrayal of the very settlement movement that he had boosted some years before, and inside his party it was seen as treason too. So is Sharon likely to be awarded a place in the pantheon of Israeli politicians? Only time will tell, but there's one thing that's clear here in Israel. The concept of security is omnipresent. All governments wanting to retain their popularity have to guarantee security, and Sharon symbolized precisely that. Other issues could also arise. Concessions can be made in terms of settlements at a higher or lower level, but security must always be seen to be guaranteed, and Sharon embodied this concept. Representaba exactamente este concepto. Muchas gracias, Luis Carballo, enviado especial de Euronews desde Jerusalén. Gracias.